The following Let's Play has been rated not safe for young children. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we finally made it to the top of Loki's fortress where we told him to knock off his shenanigans or else he's going to destroy both our worlds. Unfortunately, Loki is completely insane and is willing to sacrifice both worlds all for the sake of experiencing a world of balance. Now, up until now, all of Loki's appearances have had him shrouded in darkness, and with good reason, because it turns out that Loki is, in fact, a clown. This guy's not joking around, though, as he has some devastating magic attacks. To make matters worse, his health keeps auto-regenerating. Will I be able to endure the rest of this battle, or is there a game over in my near future? One thing's for certain, a light in the sky ends today. How about another magic pumpkin? Sounds good, sounds good. And his HP going up while we're trying to recover does not entirely help. Oops, don't want that. Want this. And Lester's a little low on HP. He's not going to survive another magic attack, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. I hope he gets his next turn real soon. Alright. No, not that. No, not that. Tainted Blade. Be poisoned, please. Huh. So, next game. SS World 2. It is going to be... A game that I will be it is an RPG Maker 2 game which is gonna be pretty cool because the last time I played a full RPG Maker 2 game was Untamed Madness and that game sucked beginning was awesome but as it went on my gosh what a terrible game plus it's been a while since I played an RPG Maker 2 game in general I mean the last one was what was it called it was a demo. It was... Uh, Sword of Vengeance. And that was a cancelled game too, so... We won't actually get to see it finished. I'm using a lot of magic pumpkins here. That blockade isn't entirely helpful, is it? I mean, where is, his magic spells are still taking away over half our HP. Alright, the fact that he hasn't been poisoned yet really makes me wonder if he really is... ...susceptible to all sorts of status ailments. Tainted Blade definitely isn't going to be helpful for causing a lot of damage, is it? I might want to consider having Rothgar... Oh gosh. Ultimate attack, hello. Oh, that wasn't very ultimate. Eh, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to say much else about SS World 2 because I want to have that stuff to say when I introduce it whenever I actually start the Let's Play. And there's some interesting stuff to say about it. Ah, uh, we'll give you a little bit of teasing info. It was created by somebody who made another game that I already let's played. 
So it's a return person sort of deal. I won't say who though. Still not poison. My gosh, that healing. Oh, somebody's dying. Goodbye, Ariel. It was nice knowing you. Oh, how fortunate. It's Lester's turn. Let's do a little rebirth. That way we don't have to use another magic pumpkin. Okay, this battle is definitely difficult. I mean, this has been how many deaths in this single battle? That's maybe four, possibly even five? Not entirely sure. Granted, I could heal a bit more by using Akila or Jack Hala's more powerful healing spells, but I want to keep our MP up. That way we can cause more damage. Uh, I'm not going to use that anymore now. At this point, poison probably wouldn't be taking effect enough to really be worth it. Plus, the missing is getting annoying. Okay, who else is dying now? It looks like Lester. Oh, Lester survived! Yay! Not by a whole lot, but whatever. So, let's summon fire. I think Amplify has worn out. Should I use that or should I recover? Wait, do I have anybody to recover? I think Ariel needs Blockade again. Uh, blockade isn't entirely useful at this point, since he is causing so much damage, so I think I'll go ahead and amplify, raise our magic attack again, cause a bit more damage. Because we need to cause extra damage. You know what? Massive Restore. There we go. That should help. I'm going to have to use a Dragon Cut momentarily. Wow, this battle's taking a while. Must have a lot of HP. Well, that and the auto recovery, obviously. Oh, cannot use that. Alright, I guess we're using Tainted Blade for the moment. I would miss. Summon Ray. I don't think that's gonna hurt too much. I was wrong! Ow! You know what? Here, let's use some Dragon Cuss and Jakala can recover everybody's uh, HP by a whole lot. My gosh, that attack! That looked like it hurt and it did. <laughs> Remass every store it is. Ow. I like this final boss. It is very final boss-ish. You know what? Let's use blockade. Also, I noticed that when Lester's turn came up, he was sort of squatting like his a a HP was low still. Was that a glitch? I'm gonna have to look at the video once I'm done and see if his turn bar reached its max at the exact same time as Jakala, because maybe that affected something. I don't know. Alright. Let's hurt you some more. I can't remember, did I use Amplify? Yep. Nope. Who's gonna... Well, I don't think anybody's gonna die. Still hurt. I'm not worried too much about it, so let's go ahead and use Field Medic. Alright. Lester, you need to use a Dragon Cut. Tunith Rothgar finishes summoning fire. Because Jakala is only going to be able to use that spell 
pretty sure one more time. Yeah. Because it costs 65 MP, even though it recovers 60 MP, you still need that 65 in order to use it. You know, I'm almost curious if Summon Fire causes more damage than Light Blade, but it, the difference in HP is so... Or the difference in MP cost. The difference in MP cost is so huge, Light Blade is definitely going to be more useful. Or Summon Ice, whatever it was her other spell was. Uh, let's see here. I guess we're going to keep using Field Medic. Boy, if this battle... If I had brought anybody but Jakala along for this battle, things would be pretty interesting. I'm glad you all chose to Jakala. Well, not all of you. Two of you... Well, one and a half of you didn't choose Jakala. But I'm glad the other... Four and a half of you did. Yeah, four and a half. What's Godly Aid? Attack up plus 60. You know what? Let's try that. Kind of curious if Rothgar can cause 200 damage with his regular attack or not. Probably not. Probably going to be like more 100, like 160, 170. 128. Yeah, he's going to continue using magic. Alright, so he does steal HP whenever he attacks. That's not entirely helpful. Well, it is for him, of course. Yeah, I definitely care more about keeping our MP up than I do keeping our HP up. Eventually, though, I'm going to start running out of things to revive people, and then my HP is going to be a little bit more important. Uh, summon fire. I definitely like the spells that I've been provided. Okay, so are those spells weaker now? I'm going to cast Amplify just in case. Ow. You know, he's using regular attacks more often. Does that mean he's out of MP? I should totally raise our magic defense. Or, I don't have any... Not magic defense. Regular defense. But I don't think I have anything that raises regular defense, so... I will probably want to use something that... Lowers his HP. Or, lowers his attack. Wow, I'm really getting this stuff mixed up. Well, now I'm glad I raised Rothgar's attack power. Can't use any magic there. And field medic. Huh. I got two people who are on the verge of dying. If he uses Ray again, I'm probably going to be in trouble. Let's see. Disarm. Right? Yeah. It only increases, decreases his attack by 25, but it's the only thing that will enable me to take less damage from physical attacks. So, who knows, it might help a little. Okay, I'm really tempted to get that po attempt to get that poison on him again. He's out of magic. He is totally out of magic. That's how long this battle was taking. He used up all his magic. That's pretty awesome. Poison? Aw. Oh. You know what? Uh, no. Let's use... 
Uh, you know what? Massive Restore. I want to raise all our HP to max, that way I can try to have Jakala poison him. By the way, as a reminder, if I tried lowering his MP myself, there would be no indication that his MP was gone. It would act like he had plenty of it. Poison! Come on! That doesn't help. Oh my gosh. If he's using nothing but regular attacks which absorb HP, this battle is just gonna take even longer. I gotta cause a lot of damage. Alright, let's try Venom Spear real quick. It's really not gonna cause much damage, which is bad considering I actually need to cause much damage. But, whatever. Please be poison. Nope, she's dead. Uh, rebirth. <sighs> Maybe poison won't be that helpful at this point. Maybe I should just concentrate on wailing on him with magic. So, wail on him with magic, I will. No, one more Tainted Blade. Come on, get lucky. No. Well, everybody's got a lot of HP still, so... And he can't actually use any healing spells anyway. I need to use a Dragon Cut. Lesser, that'll be your job. That was totally the wrong spell. Darn it! Oh, he's defending! Alright then. Fine by me. Alright, let's use Dragon Cuts because we need MP. Like, seriously. Oh, we need to amplify. What was it? Delay crush? Crush force? Oh wait, I was trying to poison him, that right. Ha! Huh. Oh, he's almost dead! It's about time. Well, we're about to win the game. Apparently that little bit of recovery helped him recover a lot. Alright, Amplify! Raise our magic attack. Because otherwise his recovery is going to be even more of a pain. Well, since he is so close to dead, trying to poison him isn't going to do diddly squat. I like saying that, diddly squat. In fact, Delay Crush. No wait, that, uh, that does MP damage. Um, Crush Force, sure. Oh wait, that's also MP damage. Well darn. I should probably use more Dragon Cuts. Yeah, I will be using more Dragon Cuts. You can use more Dragon Cuts. Well, I'm glad I sucked up on all these items because I'm certainly using them. 
then again, it'd be pretty idiotic not to stock up on items, so... It just happened... or something? I probably... well, I don't need blockade anymore, do I? No. Eh, let's fault line. Maybe it'll kill him. No. Gotta be pretty close, though. Well, not anymore. Will you just die? Let's see. It's not Crush Horse. Angelic him. Cannot use that. Really? Oh, that's the one that revives everybody. Nah. Eh, I guess we just use Field Medic some more. Gotta get everybody's MP back up, for one thing. Also that. You know what? Here. Eat fire. <gasps> He's dead! Yay! Oh, that's an interesting pose you got there, Jakala. And that's the end of the game. It's over. My gosh, I'd have to hope that was the it's really over because if that was just a fake final boss, that fake final boss really beat the crap out of me. And I'm weakened for a real final battle. But I'm pr fairly certain that that's a real final battle. Yes, finally. Dot dot dot. What is it, Lester? I... can't help but sympathize with Loki. Well, aside from the fact that he was insane, and looked like a clown, and... wanted to kill everybody for the sake of... experiencing balance for a short time... You know, you should have given him a... a, a, a like an evil, insane sort of laugh. And called him Kefka. No, not really. I'm just joking. I can't condone what he did, but I do understand why he did it. You know, it makes me wonder, if him staying in our world was going to cause destruction, what if he just visited for a short time? Because obviously, he was able to hang around for a few months without the worlds being destroyed, and then he could have just went back to his world and waited for the next light in the sky to come along and have a vacation in our world for a few months because he's been here before this is not the first time the chaos have come to our world this is not the first light in the sky the first one actually it may not have been the first one but another one was whenever Obercotter was discovering the true purpose of the light in the sky and then the chaos were spreading lies about the light in the sky and stuff like that Maybe so, but in the end, he was a murderer. Yeah, that's actually true. He did destroy a whole bunch of our towns. Why did he do that anyway? I guess, in order to spread darkness in the world, he had to destroy towns? Yes, he was. The ends don't justify the means, especially not when the means are mass genocide. I just can't help but ask myself what I would do in his position. That's something you can never know. You don't have to feel guilty about stopping a killer, Lester. If we didn't, our world would have been destroyed. We've helped to save lives, that's what's truly important. I wonder, are we just trying to justify our actions like Loki was? No, not really. We either kill this one guy or let him kill a whole world of people. In fact, a whole two worlds of people. I think our ends very much justify our means. Can any of us really ever know if we did the right thing? No, we can't. But we can sure assume. We just have to live with our actions, whether they're good or bad. 
but we shouldn't feel guilty about living. Despite Loki and the chaos and all of that, we have to take pride in our lives. It's the only way we can tr be truly happy. You're one who taught me that, Lester. You make it sound so simple. Hey, by the way, are we going to have any of the other animal characters in this cutscene somewhere? Because I know that they were sort of forced into our party, we could only choose one, but you know, they are important to the story. They've been in the story. It is simple, Lester, but it's not easy. Alright guys, it's time to go back. Out of curiosity, how is the Guardian going to know whether we finish this so he can open another Obercotter cluster? Oh, we're not going to have any dialogue from the animal characters? That's lame. Chronicle Games would like to thank the following providers of inspiration. The music of Rush. The music of Coheed and Cambria. I don't know who either of those people are. Jeffrey Cosser, Rudy Rudyard Kipling, William Shakespeare. Obviously the people who inspired the names of these people. ABC and that went by so fast I was still holding down the skip text button by the time it ended. We'll have to pause that whenever we get to it in the recording. Obercotter Auditorium for unknowingly donating its name. There's a real Obercotter in the in, that that's interesting. Thank you to Agetech and Enterbrain for creating and localizing the RPG Maker series. Yes, definitely. Special thanks to the Norse, Egyptian, Greek, Roman, and other mytho mythologies from where much inspiration was drawn. Like Loki. I forget which Loki came from Norse, I think. Thank you to the online RPG Maker community for the th support throughout the years. In loving memory of Roberta De Luca. Don't know who that is either. Thank you to you, the player. Aw, you're welcome. A Light in the Sky, Chronicle Games. The end. And eventually this is going to end automatically. I'm curious when. Oh, there we go. So, that's it. That is a light in the sky. Did I enjoy the game? Yes, I did. But I'm not going to give a review in this video. Because as I learned from a previous video, trying to make a review off the top of my head can end disastrously and I'll forget a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is spread out the these uploads of these last few episodes over the course of a few days. And then I'm going to just write down some little notes for a review and I'll record a review separate from the rest. You can expect that shortly after the upload of this particular video. Other than that, this is the end of the Light in the Sky. It was an enjoyable game. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the review.